Hi, I'm Jamie Oliver. This is my restaurant 15 in London and I set this up 13 years ago as a social enterprise. Hi, my name's Cressy Wessling. I'm a co-founder and director of Elvis and Cressy. And I'm James Henrik, also known as Elvis, and I'm the other co-founder. I'm Karen Lynch. I'm a CEO of Bellu Water. My name is Colin Gressy. I'm the chief executive at Deutsche Bank uh, in London. I didn't really know what I was doing back in the day. All I wanted to do was take in kids from troubled, possibly unlucky, underprivileged backgrounds. We started the business in 2005, really, when we started collecting London's fire hoses. There was this 10 tons of absolutely stunning material that was going to landfill every year, and we needed a way to save it. We are the UK's most ethical water brand, and we're very proud to be a social enterprise. We've taken young people, and we've tried to produce incredible world-class chefs. We had to turn it into something that people would love. We came up with a solution and we donate 50% of our profits to the firefighters charity. We pioneer environmental initiatives like lightweight packaging, use of recycled materials. We make sure that overall we're carbon neutral and give all of our profits to WaterAid. Social investment in the UK has grown by 30%. In fact, that's one in five businesses have a social purpose now in the UK. The interesting and exciting thing is that you have a choice. Your business is motivated by not just shareholder value in the traditional sense, but where is it you want to make that impact? Social business is definitely growing. It's thriving. People are starting to look at it differently. We definitely export. I think our first ever sale was to Holland. We have a lot of fans in continental Europe, but we're also selling in Japan and America and in South Australia. Korea. We've had about 330 young people come through the program. It's about 12 to 14 months long. We create food. And if we do it well enough, customers keep coming back. And if we're good enough, we'll make a margin. And that margin is kind of the money that goes back in to pay for the young people. There are a whole range of different schemes, mechanisms, places to apply for grants. Deutsche Bank is extremely interested in prospering the social finance market. We have launched a social impact fund to invest up to 10 million pounds in social enterprises. In 2007, I was asked to be a social enterprise ambassador and it was this amazing government program where everyone was going around talking about it and got to meet incredible social entrepreneurs. We have an ecosystem of financial advisors, constructors, lawyers, accountants and operations specialists who ensure that your money is safe, it's well invested and produces attractive, sustainable long-term returns with a very important social conscious embedded within those returns. You could enter a very vibrant hub of social entrepreneurism here, but actually make a global difference. I think to investors it's about something that feels really good, something with heart and soul. The UK absolutely is the innovation hub of social enterprise globally. It's a small country that's really, really well connected with amazing infrastructure. Most importantly, it's sustainable. There's already a huge head start here in the social enterprise movement. I think what we've got here already is a proven track record that social business can be successful. Whether you're an investor or an entrepreneur, you know, without doubt, where sort of UK social enterprise is at is a really good place um, to collaborate with, invest in um, and do something that really makes a difference.